If you're looking to destroy a whole load of ships because you want to improve your ship capabilities and a lot of those skills require you to destroy ships, use repair kits, take damage to your shields and other things, then there's an area of space that's really handy because you can fight the Varun. Now, this was actually left in a comment on a recent video of mine, so thanks to that commenter. But if you head over to the Serpentis system, which is on the right-hand side here that you can see away from Crix and Nera, you want Serpentis. And if you head to one of the planets in that system, any of them, just fast travel there. And what you'll find is, generally speaking, some Varun ships will appear at some point and try and pick a fight with you. Now, if you've got a pretty decent ship, and you're quite happy with how good your skills are in terms of killing enemy ships, you should be fine. Be warned that sometimes you'll find two or three ships appear at once. Some of them are fairly high level as well, so you might have a bit of a fight on your hands, but if your weaponry is good enough, you can probably deal with them. Now, you can do this, and you can just keep going from planet to planet, so it's really handy, and I'll show you that in a second. But what you might find is that when you do go to a planet or a moon in that system, that you have to wait a little while before a ship will appear. Sometimes they'll appear immediately, other times it will take a, a few seconds, so don't get impatient. You might find that you just have to wait a little minute. And what I found is just shooting some rocks nearby and getting some minerals while waiting can sort of speed up the process and also get you some extra resources. And then you can just churn your way through those. And as I said, you can then go to the next planet. But also watch out for the ship parts, because that's important, because you want to get those ship parts to keep healing your ship, obviously. So loot the corpses after you've destroyed the ships. Then just open up the map and head to another planet in that system. And you can just keep repeating this over and over and over, going from every planet in the system and every moon in the system to the next one. And if you go somewhere and you find that the ships don't appear, don't worry, just go on to the next one. And you can basically just keep going around. And I actually ended up doing this for a few hours, and just fighting the ships over and over, destroying them, getting the ship parts from them, taking the damage from my skills and leveling up the various skills by going through the requirements for them because you do have to take a lot of damage, kill a lot of ships and do a lot of other things in order to do it. You do have quite a fight in your hands though. As you can see, my ship's taking a bit of a beating here, but that's okay because you actually do need to take some damage for some of these and you need to use the repair kits as well. But once you've done it, you should then level up quite a lot and it's worth spending the skills in different places. I'm gonna to get to that in a bit. Now, some of these planets, you'll also find Starborn Guardians. Now, these are higher level, sometimes significantly higher level. And again, sometimes there are several of them. So I actually found one of the planets had three of the Starborn Guardians in it, which can be quite intimidating to take on because they do take quite a lot of damage and they do dish out quite a lot of damage. But they are also really worth killing because they do give you a lot of experience points. He's getting like six, 700 points per ship here when you're usually getting about two to 300 or something off the rune fighters. So quite a lot more experience and that can help you level up really quickly. They don't appear as often though, but they are sometimes in this system. So I have found them two or three times so far in that area. So it's worth looking out for. Now, ship parts I'd also recommend getting and I regularly head back to Cheyenne and to Aquila, and it's just the easiest way to get ship parts from what I've seen if you're in the Serpentis system, because you can just basically go between these and they're fairly close, so the grav jump distance isn't too bad, so it doesn't take too long and you don't need a mega ship for it. If you head over to Shepard, you can find the ship parts, he sells them, and he regularly sells around four or five. And what you want to do is basically scroll through. You can either look in the all section and just scroll down and find ship parts. You can see he's selling six here, for example, and then buy them all. Or you find it under the aid section. So it's actually under aid where all your health stuff is, which is a bit confusing and random to me. I'd recommend once you've done that, going into your ship cargo remotely because you can do this from his store. Head over to your inventory or your aid section, scroll down, find the ship parts and then send them to your ship because they are really heavy. You don't want to accidentally be carrying them around. So put six of those, transfer them over to the ship. Now, if you head out of Shepherds and go around the corner, you'll find this place here, which is the guards barracks. If you go inside the guards barracks, you can then head over to the guards beds and you can sleep in their beds. And I found if you sleep for 48 hours, so two cycles of it, what you can then do is you can head back over to Shepherds again and you can buy the ship parts from him again. So what you can do is basically stock up on loads of ship parts by just buying from Shepherd, sleeping 
for 48 hours, go back to Shepherd, buy a load more, store them all on your ship, and make sure you've got absolutely loads of ship parts, and then just head back over to Serpentis and just keep destroying those ships, just churning through your skills and upgrading your character. Obviously, it sounds like a bit of a mission, but it saves you having to keep coming back to a killer on a regular basis, and you just have loads of ship parts. So you can also do this with anything else that he has in stock. So if you want to buy a lot of something, just sleep, and then but go and buy them again, and then head back over and destroy some more ships. Now, when you've got some skills, it's also worth paying attention to what you're spending it on, because yes, the tech tree has a lot of the ship stuff, but you'll also find there's this section here, which is under the science section where you've got Aeontronic Fusion. Now this section gives you extra power for your reactor. And if you fill it up, you can have five extra points in here. And you'll see that on the bottom left. Now this power can be attributed to each of the different weapon types, shields and engine. And what this does is it gives you more for each, which means your weapons will fire for longer, your ship will travel faster, or you'll have more shield. You can achieve a similar result by using the Starship Engineering tree. So if you max that out, which will obviously take some time, this will allow for the installation of the higher level ship modules. And then obviously you can upgrade your reactor to the maximum. Look for one that gives you the most power generated. You can see this one kicks out 38, which this means I've now got a total of 44 power that I can use from a ship and I can put it across the engine shields and the various different weapons or on the grav drive but if you're in combat obviously you want to max out your weaponry because that means the weapons will then last longer they'll fire for longer before they need to recharge which means that you can take those battles a bit more or you can up your shield and obviously that'll improve your defensive capabilities but you should find if you've got a good weapon combo and you've upgraded your power you should then be able to smash your way through enemies pretty quickly the other thing to watch out for is some of the ship benefits are in other trees you'll see that under social you can get ship command for example if you work your way through this tree you can have up to eight active crew members and crew members can have different skills like payload benefits or weapon specializations that can really help you give better performance to your ship. 